Hi friends, Living Fit with Laura on this beautiful day. I want to talk to us briefly about cat uh, catastrophizing uh, things over many times over which we have no control. That when we catastrophize them, uh, our lives seem much worse than they are. But first let's say the prayer with me. On this beautiful day, I'll continue moving forward to those things that lie ahead putting behind me those things that lie behind. I will not criticize, curse, condemn, or compare my life or negatively compete. I will be aware of when I create my own misery and take a step back and take responsibility for my joy. I will decide not to live by my feelings but live by the facts. Many times when we are tired I'm speaking for myself. When we are tired, I have a very physical job. I'm on my feet. Uh, and uh, I'm on, working in a coffee roaster, and I'm on my feet. And it's, I love my job, but it's physically demanding. So if I don't get enough sleep or if I'm not eating right, it's easy to get in a funk. And let me tell you, when we live by our feelings or how we feel... Um, it's easy to catastrophize, what I call catastrophize, um, details in our life that aren't really that bad. We must take a step back and take inventory before we, uh, when, when we're at the point of feeling overwhelmed or um, overcome by many times things that we have no control over, we take a step back, we take a deep breath, and we continue moving forward. When we catastrophize and get overwhelmed, let's take a step back. Let's go out for a walk. Let's notice this beautiful sunrise. Let's look at the blessings in our life and then think to ourselves, uh, make a written list of the things that we are making a catastrophe. Many times they are things that we have no control over. We cannot control the way people act. If we are catastrophizing or feeling bad about a very long ingrained relationship in which we wish we wish were different, we take a step back and we love that person anyway, remembering that we ourselves we ourselves are flawed. There, I'm sure there are plenty of people that are, are annoyed by me. So. If we are annoyed or disappointed, we don't make that into a catastrophe. We love the people in our lives. We love our extended family without rigid expectation. And when we are finding ourselves in a funk or we are catastrophizing an old ingrained pattern of, of relating, um, we we accept those things we cannot change. We have the courage to change the things we can and the wisdom to know the difference. We cannot change people and also we cannot change bureaucracy. Um, I myself have been very frustrated by um, things that are out of my control. Um, the bureaucracy as far as set, signing up for a medical plan, uh, is very, very frustrating because it can be very, very slow. But we are not to catastrophize it. Let's not make a catastrophe out of things that eventually work themselves out. Let's not make a catastrophe about things such as old ingrained relationships, behaviors um, that will probably never change because people usually do not change. It is the rare person that takes stock in their uh, behavior, takes an inventory of themselves and wants to change. So we are not to get discouraged or defeated about those things we cannot change. Let me say it again. We are not to get discouraged or defeated about those things we cannot change. That includes the way people act, that includes things out of our control, for example, bureaucratic situations where there is a long list of hoops that you have to jump through 
to sign up for, for example, a medical plan. We are not to get defeated or discouraged by things that we can, cannot control. Let's not make a catastrophe out of things that are mainly nothing more than an annoyance. So on this beautiful day, we are grateful for our lives. We move forward to those things that lie ahead, putting behind us those things that lie behind. We decide not to make a, a big deal out of things that are actually, might not be an issue a week from now or two weeks from now. We do not see anything as a catastrophe because things on this earth are very temporary. This world, this life can be very challenging, very lonely, very difficult if we have a victim mentality if we try to control other people or if we hope for things that we just that have just not materialized for us we must accept those things we cannot change we must continue to have hope but we must be realistic about loving people the way they are about being patient for things to happen and about being happy in the now we are happy in the now we are happy today we are not waiting for this or that to happen. We are not waiting for a circumstance or a relationship to be happy. We are joyful now. Why? Because we are joyful because we focus not on ourselves, not on people, places, or things, but on the miracle of this day. We are joyful because we focus on the Creator, the miracle of these 24 hours. We are joyful because we realize the joy of the Lord is our strength. We are joyful because we have the gift of life. Of course we get frustrated, of course we get discouraged, of course we get tired, but we do not get defeated or give up. We have hope. What is hope? Having optimism persisting in everything. So on this very, very sunny, beautiful morning, let's continue moving forward. Let's get our exercise. We accept those things we cannot change. We have the courage to change the things we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Have a great workout. Have a great day with me, Living Fit with Laura, to get and stay, staying stable, serene, and strong. Not making a catastrophe over things that are very temporary. Not making a catastrophe over... Uh, long ingrained relationships with people that we wish were different that probably won't be different because it is the rare case when people change. We take responsibility for our own happiness, keeping our focus off ourselves, staying out of the little me bubble, and keeping our mind on loving other people just as, the, uh, just as they are, knowing that God loves us just as we are. Have a great day with me, Living Fit with Laura, to get and stay. Saying stable, serene, and strong. I'm proud of you.